so we're out hunting for a, a Pokemon right now. Actually, actually, no, we're not. Did you ever no. download the app? No. No. Okay. Good. No. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, on this week's EPP bonus episode of Real Ghost Stories Online, uh, some listeners are out there uh, hunting for uh, a, a fictional creature, and uh, they happen to uh, be led into a bit of a haunted situation. It's it's pretty creepy. If you want to hear the full story of this week's uh, haunted uh, Pokemon hunt, if you will, uh, check out uh, EPP 107 at ghostpodcast.com. Sign up to get it at ghostpodcast.com. Here's a little taste of this week's EPP bonus episode. We sat down on the sidewalk and started playing the game. Within 10 minutes, things started happening. Brittany's phone went dead even though it had an 80% charge. She plugged it into the portable charger and it never came back on. We continued to hear shifting within the graveyard, but there wasn't anything to be seen. Suddenly we all got excited when the Pokemon we had been hunting appeared on our screens. We all got rowdy except for Brittany who was trying to restart her phone. And that's when I heard it. It sounded like a baby crying in the distance, which we thought could have been a cat in heat or a frog. It got closer and closer and we looked in the direction it should have been and... There was nothing there. We all exited the game and turned off our cell phones and just turned on the cell phone lights to look for the supposed cats. Nothing. Only the cries of what sounded like an upset baby. A harsh and raspy crying. So yeah, pretty messed up. I mean, uh, I guess uh, Pokemon, people are getting exercise and uh, they're finding ghosts at the same time. So it, it can be a good thing, right? I guess so. Don't crash the car. I'm not. <laughs> Don't podcast and drive. Just there you go. All right, EPP 107. Check it out. Support the show. Help keep us on the air at uh, ghostpodcast.com. Enjoy. <laughs>